Outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. Let's go through everything I've bought everyone for Christmas. I've done this for the last two years. This year, I'm going to go through everything. I'm going through Jack's family as well. First up, if you think you are getting a present from me, stop it. Stop watching. I know my friends are lovely, lovely people and watch my videos. So I'm gonna leave you guys till the end and then you can stop it. Stop watching. I don't want you, I like surprises. So please don't watch. Also my siblings, people like that. If you think you're getting a present from me, don't listen to what you're getting. We're gonna, we're gonna go on the presents. I'm not gonna lie. This is also gonna be a sort kind of thing because we've brought all the presents downstairs cause we're gonna wrap tomorrow. And look at this. This is what we are working with. I have no idea where everybody is. I also do have a list on my phone. Highly recommend making a list if you don't already to keep in track who's got what, what you've got, things like that. So I am gonna use a list to help me, but I am gonna show you the stuff. There are a few things that haven't came, but the majority of it is here. Right, Jack's dad first. Rum. Jack's dad is difficult to buy for. Jack is also difficult to buy for, so it must run in the family. We asked him what he wanted. He said he didn't mind, but rum would never go amiss. So he's got rum and a Toblerone. This is a good dad gift. This is a good dad gift. So that is what Jack's dad is getting. We do do joint presents as well, just in case I'm not clear. Me and my partner, Jack, been together 12 year. 13 years soon. So we do just do joint presents because 12 years. This is Jack's mom's gift. Jack didn't open it when it came, so we're opening it now. Full disclosure, this was asked for. She has picked her presents. We are very much like a, if there's something people want, that's what we'll get type of people. I love gift, I love gift giving, but I'll use the surprise factor on Jack. And if people have stuff that they want, that's what they'll get. I'm not forcing them to have a gift I want them to have when there's something they'd rather have. So she's picked this. Okay. Oh, I can't believe thanks if it's not something they want. Yeah, exactly. We'd rather not waste more money and buy people stuff that they don't actually want. Jules gift set. What's in there? So it's got uplifting body wash, two bath fizzlers, skin smoothing body souffle, body mist and hand cream. And obviously comes with the very Jules-ish bag as well, which is very much up her street. I think the reason she asked for this is for the bag. Maybe. Yeah, uh -huh. she, wants, she wants the bag. Obviously Jack is here. I'm gonna go through his gifts at the end and then he will leave the room. So Jack's mom has got that and Cadbury's gift set. Nice chocolate. This one is the chunk collection. I love that. I think that's lovely. I'm not a fan of selection boxes because there's always stuff in the selection boxes that I don't particularly like. So I'd have this, this is lovely. So. Jack's parents, sorted. Whilst we're on the theme of Jack's parents, Jack's dad's girlfriend, Christine. Body shop, oh, wrong way around. Body shop hand creams, she loves them. This is what we got her last year, she really likes them, so we went for it again. I think there's four in this. Can I open this without opening open it? Three nice set hand creams. Body, body shop's gonna be good quality hand cream, so it's lovely. Jack's granddad and wife, we got a diffuser. They're very, how would you describe your granddad and Anne? Simplistic people? Anne's not. Anne's very extra. They're very polar opposites. John's like a minor simplism. That's his life. Anne is like gold living room. They are complete polar opposites. But in terms of gifts and Christmas and stuff, if you, if you they're not fussed. If you get them something that looks glamorous, they're, they're happy. happy. So we went for a nice diffuser from Home Sense. I think the scent is Lily of the Valley undergrowth flowers and orange and mandarin leaves and it actually looks quite nice on the inside it looks quite fancy so it's a nice gift for them kind of sticking with the theme jack's grandma we also got a diffuser we also got some chocolates jack's grandma is in a home and has parkinson's so it's a bit more limited on gifts that we can get her so we thought a lavender diffuser might be nice for in the home just have a little bit of a nice smell and then she loves orange chocolates so this is her gift. Last one for Jack's family is our niece. And we got her 
this game. So it is called the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game. It was down as an educational game, which I love, all four educational games. But it also looked quite funky. I very much want to be the fun ant, so I feel like this is a fun ant kind of gift. It's a game. It's something to do together with our parents. But it also looks quite cute. And it's educational. I feel like we're being good aunts and uncles here. So the whole point of it is there's the squirrels and the log things and then the little coloured acorns and then you use the squirrels to pick up the acorns and then there's also like a wheel spinner, you can lose acorns and stuff like that. It's like, I think the skills for it are like colours and fine motor skills because you have to use this squirrel to like pick up the acorns so it's good. She's going to be four in the new year so this is ages three upwards and it feels like when we were looking at the instructions you could make it harder or easier depending on where like other where the people are at. We thought it was a nice all-round game and I think this is so such a cute board like look how cute that packaging is. Adorable. Right let's go my family now. We'll open this because this is for my grandpa and I haven't opened them yet. We got him some nice slippers. I mentioned this in a vlog, in Vlogmas, but in case you didn't see that, my grandpa is very, very difficult to buy for. He is one of those people that maintains he doesn't want any gifts. He's very, and I believe him, he's not a gift giver, gift receiver kind of person. Normally I get him fosters, because that's all he wants. But when I, I always ask anyway, just in case, when I asked, my mom was like, he needs slippers. And he was like, no, your sister will get me slippers. But... You can never have too many slippers. The dogs, they have three dogs. The dogs always get his slippers. So he can have another pair off me. I'll probably get him some Fosters as well. I had to order these off Amazon. These are from Shoe Zone. Because he has, I don't know if you can see, he has little feet. So I couldn't get them in the shops. <laughs> but they're really nice. I really like them. They feel lovely in there. They're actually from the slipper company. But they, I like them. My mama who is my grandma. I got her Les Mis tickets. Les Mis is doing a arena tour. Oh, I need to sort that actually. I need to print something out. I also got a, a massive bar of dairy milk because she loves dairy milk. It's kind of her thing. So I think I'm going to do the dairy milk with the ticket across the thing. She knows she's getting that because I did ask because she's been to the arena tour of Les Mis before. So I didn't want to get it for her for her to be like, oh, I've seen this. But she said no, she'd really like that. So she knows she's getting it, but thought I'd get her the chocolate just to have something extra. Right, siblings. So I've mentioned it on the channel. I am one of six. One of my siblings doesn't do gifts at, at Christmas, so she's not getting anything. So we're skipping her and we're going on to my brother. So Joshua, my brother, is getting uh, an aftershave from Zara. I feel like Zara always smells lovely when you walk in, so I went and got him some of that. I was just going to get him a little thing of aftershave, but we went around Black Friday and this set was actually on for the same price as the size aftershave I was going to get him and I also got him a ring from, I've forgotten what it's called, Vasia. They are minimalist jewellery made in Sweden I think it was, it was either Sweden or Switzerland. Sweden. So I don't know if you can see, it's just a really simple minimalist ring. He shared something on his story. Yeah, it was a, it was a giveaway for that brand whilst I was starting to think about Christmas gifts. And I just messaged him and I was like, do you want something off there for Christmas? And he was like, yeah, that would be great. So I've got him that and I got, that's not it. And I got him the aftershave set. If you watch the Come Shop With Me, you'll have seen what I've gotten my baby sisters. They are arguably my favourite gift <laughs> that I've got for everyone. So, right, Tabitha. No, let's do Poppy because Poppy will go in age order because we're going, oh, no, I've got to do Han. I'm going to leave Han till the end because Han watches my videos. So I'll group Han in with my friends so they all know when they're gonna like click off. So Poppy, I have got Grogu pillow. This was the small gift. So I got the first one. I've missed one from Jack's family. So I'll look back to it. So I got Poppy this beautiful book from Home Sense, right up my alley. Cause obviously I like to buy them like feminist stuff. And Poppy has gotten very, very into reading recently. Like Han says that she keeps nicking their books and stuff. So I thought this was just the perfect gift. Very feminist. I get them books every year. And I've gotten them like eco books and diverse books, things like that. So that, right up my alley. And then I was like, right, and I'll get her something else to go with it little. And then we popped into Primark. And then this was on sale in the Black Friday sale for £6. And Poppy is obsessed with Grogu. Never seen The Mandalorian, but obsessed with Grogu. I feel like that's a really common thing for kids at the minute. This, just perfect. 
can't wait to go to that. And then Tabitha. <laughs> Tabitha is obsessed with sharks and marine animals. This is what I've got Tabitha. <laughs> Absolutely huge. I don't know if you can tell the size of it, but it's massive. It isn't a shark, because I asked Tabitha what she wanted and she said a soft toy shark, but I saw this and I couldn't not, but they are obsessed with shark tails. So I am gonna say that this is Lenny, who is a shark, dressed up as a dolphin. I feel like that's gonna work. And it was only 25 quid for this big and this quality because it feels like a squishmallow. I couldn't not. So that's what Tabitha's getting. I am very scared about wrapping it, <laughs> but Jack will figure it out. Jack's the wrapper of this household. Jack will figure it out. Really quickly, we have some roses for Jack's cousin, Chrissy. <laughs> All right, next up I'm gonna do Oakley because I feel like that's where I, Oakley's the last person that I can do who doesn't watch the videos that I'm scared about them seeing. So I'm gonna do Oakley first. We haven't, I don't think we've finished shopping for Oakley, but it might just be little things that we get for it. Mainly got these <laughs> when we went to the Cotswolds and we just, found this shop which is dog by just for pets we don't have this up north at all so we got very excited and we bought stuff in there so that's the main place his presents are from first up he is there so i'm gonna have to be careful with this we have a yak they had way more flavors than our local pet shop has so we got him what did we end up going for coconut we went for a coconut yak which i'm excited for him to try because like we only have like the main flavors and then i think we have the strawberry flavor and the cheese flavor yeah. so the coconut one's exciting then we got him a christmas tree toy we like having seasonal toys so he has some halloween toys he has one christmas toy but it's a rag because it was a stuffed toy and he got into it, so we had to take all the stuff out. So it's just like a rag, but he only has one. So now he has another one. Last thing that we have, I can show him this easier because it's not a toy, is a drying robe. So we were very excited when we saw these. We were like, oh my God, so cool. It feels beautiful. And it was in this posh ass section of the store with these really, really luxury dog beds. And when we were like, oh, these look lovely. And they're like, I don't know if you can see, they're full on like luxury branded. Are you crying for your drying robe? You don't even know what this is. And we were like, ooh, really nice. And then we found out it was only 20 quid. So he's getting this. <laughs> this will be one of his only luxury items. And it's lovely it's got such a nice material and then it's got like a waistband around it so it wraps onto him nice and tightly and it's perfect because Oakley does come back soaking wet from his walks because normally he goes to a field for his afternoon walk and even when it's not been raining sometimes it can get really wet there because of just like dew what do you like yeah. and recently we've been having to put his jumper on him to try and keep him warm slash dry but then the jumpers are getting disgusting. So this is just perfect. And we guessed his size. What do you think now that you can see him? Yeah? Because this is a medium, I think. Because we had to do it with him without him there. I love that. I'm so excited. We might get him little treats, maybe, from pets at home. But, yeah, that's that's the main thing. And obviously, he's got his stock in. So we'll probably fill that with treats or something. But that's, that's Oakley. Right, now I'm going to go on to people who I think might be watching so i'm first gonna do lauren and lola i don't think they do watch but i'm well one of them's not even one so lola's not gonna be watching but lauren might be watching so lauren if you're here bugger off now so lauren is my friend who was my boss when i worked for ncs and we've just stayed really close so i've known her for five years now so lauren i just got a lush set we actually don't normally do gifts for each other We've like, we've never done that. This year we did a spa day for her birthday. And this year she has Lola, which is her baby. Lola turns one in January. And I don't know, I just didn't like the thought of getting Lola stuff and not Lauren something. So I got Lauren a lush bath set. We got the, I got the Bloomin' Beautiful one, which has a bubble rune bath bomb and a bath bomb in there. I've actually been gifted that one before and I really, really like it. So I got her that. Then for Lola, <laughs> I love this. I, I love Lola's gift. I am so over the moon that I have a baby to buy for now and I absolutely adore Lola. She is beautiful. She is the, she's the cutest baby. 
I'm so excited to give her gifts. So I, they're all from H&M because I just think their baby stuff is beautiful. I got her this little lion. So freaking cute. So freaking cute. Then I got her some little animal hats. Uh, this is and it's a two pack so that's the other one this is in a size so L Lola literally turns one in January I got these in a six to twelve month because I thought this would probably fit her now and obviously when we come out of winter like May April time she'll have grown out of them but then she won't need them anymore and rather than getting them in like a year to 18 months she might fit into them in summer so I thought it made more sense to get them in a uh, what was it six to twelve months and then I got her this little jumper that says Cuddle Club. Look at that. <laughs> so freaking cute. And I got this in a year to, yeah, it was 12 to 18 months. Because I thought with a jumper, she and it's really thin, she's probably going to be able to grow into that better. So I got her that in that one. And that's what I got her. But I just, I think they're so freaking cute. And I'm very excited to see Lauren open them. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna do Han next. So Han, leave. I haven't shown you these. Han asked for, because I did ask them, because I didn't actually get them a present for their birthday, which I can tell they hated, but we got them like a, we did their birthday for them, essentially. We paid for their birthday. So I asked them what they wanted, and they wanted, oh, oh clay. That is so freaking heavy. 12.5 kilos. They asked for that, they've got that, but I got them a few little things because they were, I could tell on their birthday, they were disappointed that they didn't have many things to unwrap. So I got them. I went into Damage Society, which I love. I'm talking to you and to Jack because I haven't showed Jack these yet. Uh, I went into Damage Society because I thought there might be jewelry that they like and there might be like a beanie that they like or some socks, but they had patches. And I don't think they have, they wear patches but I thought it might be nice to put them on their bags or on their jacket that they've made. So I got them three because it was three for 10 pound. And I got them a skeleton hand with a middle finger because that's kind of our thing that we do to each other. They got me, oh, I don't know if you can see it. They got me the candle middle finger there. So that's kind of our thing. So I got the middle finger and then I got the uh, tombstone that says, I hated you all because <laughs> that's them. They hate people. so. I hated you all. And then there's a little circle with some ghosts. And they like ghosts. Yeah. So I got them that as well. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they're cute. They had badges or patches. And the badges were cute, but I couldn't find any like relevant for them. So I thought then. I also got them a big bar of chocolate to unwrap, just as another thing to unwrap. So that's what they're getting. All right. I think it's just friends now. So Soph, Alec, Tom, Ellie. You guys can leave now. Soph and Alex's hasn't came yet. We're gonna go pick it up tomorrow. We are getting them a duo of picture frames and some chocolates. We actually have our gift <laughs> for Soph and Alex because they gave it to us on the like friends day that we had, but we thought we were seeing them on Boxing Day, which we might not be anymore, but we thought we were seeing them on Boxing Day, so we didn't give them their theirs. We did have this planned since before they gave them the gift though, but we're getting them some picture frames because they're actually moving house and they've bought a flat, which is just insane. But they've bought that and we thought that would be nice like for their flat. And we're gonna put some pictures in from Beamish when we all went, which we thought would be a cute placeholder until they can put whatever they want in them. And then we're just gonna get them some chocolates to like add on to that. We think we're gonna go maybe like get some M&S biscuits or something because Alex doesn't have the most sweet tooth. So maybe biscuits would be better than chocolate. Then, Tom will do Tom. So Tom, who has been on the channel, Tom actually owns his own dog walking business. He also is always cold. <laughs> he has that thing, what's it called? Where like you, you, your extremities go really, really cold and like you lose the blood from them. Can't remember, he gets that, he's always cold. So we got him an electric hand warmer. And we thought that would be nice because obviously you can get the ones that you break and it's like a chemical reaction, but they're not reusable and they can get quite expensive. So we got him some electric ones that he can recharge and they're meant to last like something stupid, like 12 hours. Obviously they'll probably only last like four, but we thought he could maybe like put one on charge whilst he's out. And then when he's got clients in the evening, he could take the other one. And when he's walking, he'll have a lead in one hand. A lead in one hand, yeah. So he could put it in his pocket and then just have the one warm. So. That's what we got Tom. Ellie, uh, similar theme. 
she is also always cold she also always has a water bottle so we got her a long water bottle i'm gonna take that out actually because i want to make sure that that's nice because if not i might be ordering a another one yeah it's quite it's quite nice long one she can wrap it around herself she also has tazzy which is her dog tazzy also always has a water bottle so i thought like she could have it on both of them and also we always joke well not always but we've joked about before how she's the blue friend and i'm the pink friend so i got her a one in blue i also got ellie some more i also got her some bath bombs because i've had I've, she loves the bath she loves the bath so i thought i'll get her some bath bombs as well she has quite sensitive skin so i got her the sleepy bear one and the butterball one because they're the like most sensitive ones that lush do so i have got her then <sighs> that is it apart from you my love okay my camera overheated overheat over the head i don't know when literally as i was about to do that so i'm gonna do it now he's in the kitchen so the first we had a uh, had a nightmare with his gifts right i've had these planned i've had a list on a separate notes app in my phone so we didn't find it since i don't know before september right so i see his birthday is in december so i have to plan because obviously we've got december we've got his birthday and christmas and they need to be separate so i've had it planned for ages had a nightmare if you subscribed obviously he did that freaking black friday order with loads of clothes i wanted to buy him a full outfit i also wanted to buy him a plant book which i mentioned in the waterstones haul and then right so a few different things he did the black friday i wanted to buy him this, uh, a full outfit he did the black friday haul so i then had to ask him is he okay with me getting him clothes because it means that all of his christmas presents are going to be clothes because he's gave those Black Friday clothes to his dad. So then that's what his dad's getting him for Christmas. So I had to ruin the surprise and be like, can I get you clothes or is that gonna be disappointment? So he knows he's getting an outfit from me. And then this plan book, I actually was like, oh, I can't fit it in the budget because we've done a 150 pound budget or like roundabout budget. And then he, um, I couldn't fit it in my budget. So I was like, right, I'll tell his dad. So his dad messaged and was like, I still need something for Jack. You haven't, he said you had an idea. So I was like, yes, amazing. Sent him a picture of the book. And I was like, right, it's not so much a little thing, but I want to get him this book. I can't fit it in to my presence. Get him that. He thumbs up this message, right? And then he rang Jack and went, the things that you told us to get Sarah to get, did you give that list to anybody? Because she's asked me to get you something that you told me to get her. And Jack went, no, I haven't gave it to anyone else. And he was like, right, okay. So I'll just get you this plan book. So I then had to come up with another idea because I wanted Jack to have some surprises because um, obviously he's gave the clothes to his dad, he's gave stuff to his mom, so he knows what he's getting for Christmas off everyone. So I wanted to have some surprises. So anyway, and the main out the main present is this outfit because he tends to buy the same things for himself as we saw on the Black Friday haul. All he got himself was checker shirts. So I thought I'll get him something that he wouldn't buy himself and then he can return it if he wants it. I can get him something different. So I got him this jumper from ASOS and it's a drop shoulder. Perfect for him. Oh, my battery's running out. And then I also got him these jeans in Ecru, which he would never buy for himself. Those go together. The next thing I got him was this weekday jacket, which so annoying it's so annoying whilst i was waiting for him to reply to me asking if it was all right for me to get him clothes size i wanted went out of stock so i've got him it in a large when i wanted it in an extra large but hopefully it'll be okay because it says it runs large so hopefully it'll be okay that was 80 quid i wanted to have a nice jacket because all the stuff that he buys isn't great quality so i've got him that then to go with that I have bought him, obviously, like I say, we had the £150 kind of rough limit, so I haven't gone too much. The next big thing is this board game. He's been saying he wants to get more into board games and more into like complicated board games, and he loves nature. If you're subscribed, you'll know he loves nature. So I thought this was the perfect one because it's living forest and it's nature and it's board gamey. So perfect hits all angles and then the final thing that i've got him is a hand cream from white company in the noir collection bit of a backstory when we went to brora last year this is how long i've had this one planned when we went to brora last year 
everything was white company, like everything was white company. And we were talking about how nice it would be to have like luxury things for little things like that. So for like soaps and body washes and stuff. And he's trying to get more in hand cream because he has a lot of sores on his hands. So I thought I'll get him a nice one and then he might use it more. And he loved the smell. So it's a bit more of a luxury small gift. But that's everything that I've got him. I have went over the 150, but the bit I've went over for, I've used my own money. So that's everything I've got for him. That's it. I'm still waiting for this jacket to come. Everything's came apart from the jacket. So that is everything that I've got everyone for Christmas. That was longer than normal. Doing your family makes it longer. I might have forgotten someone. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully not, because we had that list. Auntie Jean? Oh yeah, Auntie Jean. Because it hasn't came yet. I haven't done Auntie Jean. Jack's Auntie Jean. We are getting a personalised bookmark, which I think is a lovely gift because she's getting a bit older. So there's not much we can get her. And Jack's granddad passed away this year, which was her brother. And we're getting it with pictures of people with Bill on, which yeah. I think is a really nice gift. And Jack, last time he was there, saw her reading a book. So she still reads. So we're hoping this bookmark is going to be a great gift. It's like a leather one, isn't it? You've picked. Yeah, yeah. I think it's recycled leather. Recycled leather. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, Please make sure to leave the video a like, subscribe if you are new, comment, share, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. There's only one more video left of Vlogmas, so hope you've been enjoying it, but make sure you subscribe for the last video. But even if you aren't, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching until the end, but I shall hopefully see you in another video.